the future of Europe was one of the central themes of last night's debate. Both candidates have a markedly different vision of the EU. Macron wants France at the centre of the bloc, and while Marine Le Pen maintains she wants to remain part of the EU, her policy proposals suggest otherwise. Dave Keating has more from Brussels. Obviously, people here in Brussels are quite worried about the prospect of a Le Pen presidency. I think they will be relieved that while Le Pen certainly performed better last night than she did in the debate in 2017, uh, Macron didn't have any major slip up and she didn't head it out of the park. And so I think the expectation is that Macron's lead will continue to grow. Uh, but that being said, I think people in Brussels were really watching closely to get a sense of what a Le Pen presidency would really mean for the European Union. Uh, and she, she did get a little more clear about that in response to Macron saying uh, that France can't just dictate, they need to work with the partners. She said she would work with allies, with her allies in the European Union to change the EU. And she was certainly talking about the governments of Poland and Hungary, with whom she's very close. Uh, but the problem is that alliance between Poland and Hungary is very frayed at the moment because of the issue of Ukraine. The Polish government is very anti-Russian, and the Hungarian government has been quite pro-Russian, and the Prime Minister Viktor Orban has been threatening to veto EU sanctions against Russia. Le Pen is very much in the Orban line there, and that issue of her relations with Russia came up several times in that debate last night. And so this this idea of an axis between France, Poland, and Hungary against France's Western European neighbors, uh, even that is under great question right now because if Orban does veto, for instance, uh, uh, an embargo on Russian oil next week, it could blow up that V4 alliance between Hungary and Poland, and then there's no access for her to join with those Eastern European partners. Uh, so a lot of those details is what people were, were really looking for, I think, here in Brussels. Dave Keating reporting the earlier from Brussels.